Hi everyone. Um, so today we're going to be doing an acid catalyzed dehydration of cyclohexanol to form cyclohexene. Um, the reaction is pretty straightforward. The uh, apparatus that we're going to set up today is pretty fun. Um, it has all of the same components as the distillation that you did uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, so it's going to be on a much smaller scale, so we're using smaller equipment. Um, our reaction vial is going to be a 5 mil micro vial like this. Um, and that's where we are going to heat our cyclohexanol and our acid catalyst solution. Um, the reaction that occurs in the reaction flask is going to produce cyclohexene, which has a really low boiling point. So it's going to vaporize, travel up my column, hit my thermometer, uh, come across my water jacket and condenser, and be collect as a drip of liquid. So I'm going to go ahead and measure my cyclohexanol with a syringe because it's hard to get a nice two mil measurement with a graduate cylinder. There's one. Uh, in my reaction flask 
including clouding of the glass uh, here as vapors come up and condense on the sides of the glass, uh, as well as a gentle bubble at, in the reaction flask. Uh, so I'm gonna get let this heat up for a few minutes and we'll come back once we have the uh, distillation and product going. Okay, so here's what our reaction looks like as it is running. We have our cyclohexanol and acid combining down here to form cyclohexene. It then travels up this condenser and you can see that the condenser is actually condensing it and uh, that cyclohexene is collecting on the sides. Um, that cyclohexene is hitting my thermometer uh, as it hits this three-way chamber. Um, the thermometer is not quite reading the boiling point of cyclohexene yet, but will as this progresses. It's continuing to increase. Um, so let's see if I can get this to focus well enough to see it. Um, we have drips of cyclohexene, which are collecting in our water jacket condenser, um, which has water running through the outside tube here. But then we have drips of cyclohexene, which are being collected in our cold uh, collection flask here. And so far, we have maybe a milliliter of cyclohexene collected. Um, so the starting volume of the reaction was about two and a half milliliters. Um, once this is done, I just know from experience, um, we will have collected about a milliliter and a half of cyclohexene, um, and this will have almost completely dried out in the reaction flask. Um, we may have lost some extra volume just due to uh, gas escaping the system through these plastic joints here, um, but overall it's going to make for a decent yield. Um, and the way that we are going to characterize our product today is by IR, and we have some obvious uh, differences between the cyclohexanol and the cyclohexene that we can look for in the IR. Um, I'm also going to get a mass of this cyclohexene so that we can calculate a yield. Um, so there we go, reaction's running. Um, I'm gonna continue to let this run until almost all of the liquid has left my reaction flask. Um, and this is all going to occur over the period of about an hour. Um, and I will get the data on the product to you guys so that you can fill out your reports. Um, so have a great day and thanks for listening.